Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm here with two more games in our Washington Senators season for 1955. And now, as you can see, last time, I don't know if you remember, but the last time we were three games off the pace, well now we are apparently five games off the pace of the real Senators in 1955. We are 34 and 74, and in real life, they were 39 and 69 at this point in the season. So we are going today to do a doubleheader against the Baltimore Orioles, who are the next worst team in the American League. I purposely picked that series so that it would be, um, so that I would be playing a couple of games that we have a chance of doing, doing well in. So, uh, with that having been said, let's get on with it. As you can see right here, the other games have been played, so we're going to say play day. And we'll do the manual first game. Um, we are actually going to be the human, and they will be the computer. And we got Mickey McDermott up, and uh, let me see, is that what we want? Yeah, we'll go with that. I mean, I didn't really go back through and put in uh, a starter for these games, but I don't think it really matters because um, the computer will put the most rested guy up there. So. We are going to get underway with this. Uh, let me, I'm gonna turn down the sound, although I do have the computer, I have the Screencast-O-Matic set to not record computer sounds, but we'll see. Okay. And we will go with play ball. And of course, there's the stats for the day again. And, uh, yeah. So here we go. And we are at their home in Baltimore in Camden Yards. Let me move myself over here a little bit. And, uh, we will get going. Eddie Yost up. And he is, let's see, let's, let's bring that down here, position this like that. All right, and he's going up against Ray Moore. And he walks. So we got Eddie, we got our first man of the game aboard. And he is going to be followed by Ernie Oravets. And he strikes out. One down with Yost aboard and Pete Runnels up. Pete Runnels hits a single. We got two on. We got a little rally going for us. And I'm just going to hold the runners because I'm not taking a chance. Mickey Vernon, especially not with Mickey Vernon up. But he hits a ground ball to short to it. And that is Miranda, who's a one. And it's a double play. So we got out of the inning with no runs. And now Mickey McDermott is pitching to Chuck Daring. And he hits a double. Greets him with a double. All right. So here comes Miranda. And Miranda's going to hit a fly ball. I don't know why I don't have a photo of Miranda. He's a shortstop one. You would think he was a pretty prominent player from the time, but... Dave Philly is up, and he's going to hit a single, and he'll probably try to send Deering, I would guess, and I am just going to stop the runner, because 85%, it's early in the game, there's a pop-up for uh, Gus Trinidos, so two down, and Abrams steps up for the Orioles, and he strikes out. So, they get a run, 
And we have, we're now down one nothing with Royce here stepping in. And he's striking out. Carlos Paula. And he's going to strike out. And that brings up Jose Valdeviso. And he is going to be hit by pitch. So he goes down to first. Takes his base. And that brings up Bruce Edwards, the walking man. And he's striking out. So we get no runs in the second. We're going to the bottom of the second, losing one nothing. Hal W. Smith is up, and he'll be retired on a ground ball to short. That brings up Fred Marsh, and he is going to get a, a single. Billy Cox follows him. We're going to throw for the runner, and... He is, what is he, out? Is he out? No, he made it. But that's going to be a line out, so there's two down. And Ray Moore is up. And that was a pass ball. And that's going to be a ground ball to third. Thankfully, Yost is over there. And he does get make the play, and no more runs come in for Baltimore, though they did threaten. And McDermott is up for us. And he walks. And that brings up Yost. Got aboard last time. With, uh, what was it, a walk? I think it was a walk. And this time he has a single. We're going to hold the runner, and Oravets is up. And Oravets hits a ground ball second to see. That'll move the runners up. So now we got runners at second and third. One out, runnels up. And he singles a run in and made two. Is it two? Yes. So now we have a two to one lead. Running up with Runnels aboard. He hits a ground ball second. That's Marsh. He's a three. And that is going to be an out. They get the uh, force at second. And Ray Sievers is up. And that's going to be a ground ball second. He's a three. And that's it. So Deering comes to the plate to face McDermott, who is now protecting a one-run lead. And that's an out. Miranda is up. Line out to third. And that brings up Dave Philly. And Dave Philly walks. He's aboard with one with two down. And Trinidos up to play. And uh, I'm not sure what happened there, but maybe he got picked off. So anyway, Carlos Paula up, top of the fourth. He's going to ground out. Valdiviso got hit by a pitch, and he gets hit by a pitch this time, and this time he may be injured. Ah, and he's out for three days, too. Yeah, he's injured. So let's see. Do I have another shortstop over here? I do. So we'll put in Snyder for Valdiviso, and he's the new shortstop too. With Bruce Edwards up, the man walks quite a bit, and this time he gets a single. So we got two on, one out. I'm not going to send the lead runner. I'm not doing that. McDermott up. McDermott strikes out. So there's two down, but the top of the order in Yost is up at the plate, and he pops out. So we are still only ahead two to one, and now we have a weaker fielder, or Will, out at third base.
Oh, wait a minute. Well, why did that disappear? Oh, no, okay. Snyder is the shortstop. All right, I made that mistake. I thought he was going in for Yost, but he was going in for Bell de Bezo. So. Gus Trennan goes up, up, and there's going to be a ground ball. Abrams is up, and he is going to be out. So we got uh, we got McDermott pitching really kind of well here, really well. Hal W. Smith, ground ball. So we go to the top of the fifth, still leading two to one. Or up, and he's going to hit a single. First hit of the day for Oravets, and Ronald Rose is up. And Reynolds is going to hit a ground ball. First, there's Trinidos. He's a four. And that was a double play. No, it was one. He got the one out. Um, Mickey Vernon up. And he walks. We got two on one out here. Got a little bit of a mini rally going. Roy Seavers. Seavers is out. Lines out to Miranda. And that brings up Paula, and he strikes out. Still in a very tight game, two to one. one. McDermott pitching, and he gets Fred Marsh to fly out. Bill Cox, he's up and he pops out. And that brings up Ray Moore. And that's going to be a catcher card. And he's out. So we're going to the top of the sixth, nursing that one run lead. And uh, Jerry Snyder, replacement for Valdeviso, strikes out. And that brings up Bruce Edwards, who strikes out himself. One for two on the day, and now one for three. And McDermott. McDermott. Is so we are immediately going back to uh, the field and uh, Chuck daring up and he walks second time he's been on today double last time Miranda up gonna throw for the runner and he's out yes Running team, this, this is uh, from 1955 Baltimore Orioles team. I guess they had to be, though. That'll be due down and daily up, with no one aboard and striking out. And we go to the top of the seventh. Eddie Yost. Eddie Yost is going to miss a home run, unfortunately. So that's going to be a fly out deep to Dave Philly in left field. Or a set up, and he's out, and I'm going to have to take him out when we go into the field. Put it on flip, and Runnels is up, and Runnels is walking. That brings up Vernon, and Vernon is going to hit a home run, two run homer, nice. So now I'm definitely putting on foot in for Oravets. And he bruises up and striking out. Okay, so now we are going to go huh. where is the uh, Oh, there it is. 
All right, I don't know what I was looking at. We're gonna go and put Umflet in at center field for Aura, and that's gonna be that. And that's a fly ball for Gus Trinidos. Cal Abrams up, and he strikes out. And L.W. Smith. And he's going to hit a ground ball X to McDermott. And that's going to be it. So, McDermott, yeah, pitching great here. We got a 4-1 lead. Life is good. Carlos Paula up. And he is hitting triple. That brings up Jerry Snyder. Nice Come on, man. Just fly ball something, a pass ball. I'll take it. You know, I'll take it. Yep. And that's going to be, that'll score us the fifth run. And there's a strikeout for Jerry Snyder. And that brings up Bruce Edward. He's out. We're going to the top of the ninth. Um, I thought we were going to the top of the ninth. I guess we're in the, uh, I guess we're still in the top of the eighth. Right. I don't know. I, you know, I had a long day of work. So, all right. We are in now in the bottom of the eighth. And we're still leading over the Orioles, but this time five to one. There's a single though for Fred Marsh. Cox is up and he's gonna fly out. And it's important too that we try to get McDermott through the game. Because again, the Senators team had one of the worst bullpens I've ever seen. Jim Dyke up and he's gonna hit a ground ball. I'll see that's gonna move Marsh to second, but it will be the second out. And Gearing's up, and he strikes out. So we're going to go to the top of the ninth now. Winning by one. Eddie keeps up, and he walks. That brings up Umflet, our defensive replacement. That's going to be a pass ball. He goes to second, and now Umflet batting, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop, who is a one. Would have been a double play. I'm going to hold the runner. Runnels up. And he hits a fly ball. And that brings me up there. And there's going to be a ground ball. But we got a 5-1 lead going into the bottom of the ninth. Miranda up and he's flying out. And A Philly is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to Runnels. Let's see if Runnels can make that play. And he does, and that brings up a dose, and that's going to be a ground ball. So we got a win. Nice. Get box score. Five to one, big time. McDermott pitched great, but as great as he pitched, that lowers his ERA to 619. All right, so here we are. We've got Pedro Ramos on the mound going up against Wright. And we will play ball. And there are the stats for the uh, type of day that it is, or night as it would be. And you got Bill Wright pitching against um, Eddie Yost, leading it off. And he walks. Again, he let off the first game of the doubleheader with a walk. Pete Reynolds is up, and he's going to strike out. Mickey Vernon's up, 
And he's going to hit a ground to short. That's Miranda. He's a one. And that was a double play. So we got Pedro Ramos pitching to Cal A. It's leading off for the Orioles. And he starts off with a ground ball. One down, and that brings up Miranda. And Miranda hits a, just a straight up a double. Dave Phillies is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball second base. That's going to move Miranda over to third. And Trinidad is up, and he strikes out in his column. So Ramos uh, allows no runs there. And we have Seavers facing right and walking. Carlos Paula up. And he's going to hit a double one to 10, and that is going to be a single instead. So we got a single double asterisk. Runners are at the corners. No outs. Umflip. And Umflip hitting into a double play. Thank you. But a run does score, and then Fitzgerald will be in. We did happen to sneak a run across, though. And back out to the mound with Ramos. And he's going to get uh, Dave Pope to ground out. Hal W. Smith. Is going to hit a ground ball to kill a brew. And that was a bad play by Killer. And Cox is up. Yeah, I forgot the computer decided I to do a little rearranging. And put Runnels at shortstop and Killer Brew at second. And sat um, the guy that we replaced Valdiviso with last game. But we're still ahead by a run, and Killebrew's up. I think this was Killebrew's either rookie season or one of his very early seasons. And he's out. Ramos goes up. Strikes out. And that brings up Yost. And Yost is out. So that's it for us in the third. We go to the bottom of the third. Their pitcher is up, and he's striking out. Bill Wright going down strikes. Abrams up. Walks. That brings up Willie Miranda, and Willie Miranda is going to hit a ground ball. Now he'll be on first base. And that brings up Dave Philly. And Dave Philly hits a single. So the Orioles are not done yet. And Trinidos is up, and he's going to hit a single double asterisk and knock in a run and tie the game. No, he won't. Unbelievable. I yeah. All right, cool. And then he gets the he gets the next guy to pop out, and so he gets out of the inning. I was convinced they had a run there. All right, P. Ronald is up and walking. That was the only thing in the column, except for a single one to ten. Vern is up, and he is going to hit a ground ball to third. third. That is a three. And what do we got? What's that get for us? Nothing. They got the lead runner at second, so Vernon's aboard with C. And he is going to hit a ground ball to short stop, and it's a double play. So we're out of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth. One nothing us fly ball for Hal W. Smith. Pedro Ramos pitching great here, except for last inning. But even last inning, he stopped the run from coming in. Billy Cox, he's going to fly out, and that brings up Fred Bush. and he's out. So we go to the top of the fifth, and uh, Carlos Paula will be out. I'm flitted up, and he strikes out.
and Fitzgerald. The catcher is going to ground back. I guess you had to expect uh, two low-scoring affairs here, although game one we scored five runs. It's not really a low score for us, but it was for them, one run. Pop out for Bill Wright, so Ramos leads off the, the uh, bottom of the fifth by getting the first uh, Orioles hitter. But that's going to be a single for Cal Abrams. Miranda up. And Miranda, that's probably not a home run because it's power or lack thereof. So we got runners at the corners with one out. I'm inclined to say I'm going to play the infield back and hope for a double play. Or There it is. We got, we got it. Great. Little gamble there, but I generally don't like playing the infield in anyway. And so Bill Riley is up. Or no, he's pitching and pitching to Killebrew, who hits the ball to short, and that's Miranda. He's out. Ramos, our pitcher, is up, and he is going to hit the ball back to right. He makes the play, and Yost is up. And that's going to be a ground ball. We go extremely, we go down extremely quickly, although really, so does he. Just Trinidos is up. Gus Trinidos just tied the game with a home run. I mean, you really can't say Pedro Ramos is pitching poorly, though, even with that. So it's only 1-1. One, one. Dave Pope is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to Short, who is now Runnels, which is not good. And that's a base hit. And Hal W. Smith is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball. So that's one out. Billy Cox up. He's going to hit a ground ball. Again, to the correct side of the infield to hold Pope. And Marsh is up, and he is going to be out. So no further damage is done, but the leadoff home run by Trinidos ties the game. And we got Runnels up against right. And that's going to be a single. Mickey Vernon up. Mickey Vernon hitting a single. Nice. I'm going to hold the runners. Seavers is up. Come on. Go deep here. No. It would be double play. So we got a man 90 feet away, but two down. And Carlos Pala. And he hits a single and gives us the lead. So it's 2-1. Two two one. We got Umflit up at the plate, and he's going to ground out for sure. But we did take the lead back. And I'm going to keep uh, Ramos out there because you really have to. And they're going to pinch hit for the pitcher. And he's going to be out. Bob Hale, the pinch hitter, is out. And Cal Abrams gives us up. Top of the order for them. He gets a fly ball. So that's two down. And Miranda who's two for three today with a double, and he gets out there. So we'll see if Ramos can do this uh, for the rest of the game. But they're out of the seventh, and it would be nice if we could get some insurance runs. I would really like that. They're going to bring in uh, George Zubernick to pitch. And Fitzgerald is his first batter, and he's going to hit a double. Lead off double for Fitzgerald. Now the question is, do I pinch hit? Or what? No, I don't. Killebrew's up, and he strikes out. And now, are we at the pitcher? Yes. But no, I'm not going to. It's a ground ball to third. So whatever we get is whatever we put on anyway. And that is an out. And Yost is up. They walk Yost, and they're going to pitch to Runnels. And Runnels hits a ground ball or a pop out to second. So we're out of the inning. 
and Dave Philly is up, and he's out. We're just getting lucky, lucky with these roles, some of these, because they're in there. Some of them have been in their columns. Dose, who hit the home run that gave them the only run this game, is going to pop out to short. And that brings up Dave Pope, and Dave Pope is out. So we got Vernon up at the plate. Looking for some insurance runs from the guys. Single for him. Seavers, up. Seavers is going to hit him with a play. So it does not really look like we're going to get like those insurance runs. Paula up and he's out. All right, let me let's take a look at our defensive situation here. See, Snyder is a shortstop three, so what I am going to do is I'm going to put Runnels back at second. And I'm going to put Snyder in for Killebrew. And now we're going to proceed with the ninth inning. Hoping if we can hang on and win this game, that's a pop-out for L.W. Smith. We may have a complete game here for Pedro Ramos. Billy Cox. And he's going to hit a ground ball to second, which thankfully I put Runnels back over there. But it didn't matter. He still allowed a single. They're going to pinch run and or pinch hit or pinch. I don't know what they're doing. But anyway, there's a fly ball to center field. I, I guess they brought on uh, Jim De Jim Dyke to uh, pinch hit and he flew out. And Zubernick, you got to believe they're going to pinch hit for him. And they will with Eddie Waitkiss. And I am going to throw for the runner, for sure, and that should end the game, right? And I believe it does. And we take both games from the Orioles, 5-1 to one, and then 2-1. to one. And Ramos pitches nine beautiful innings, allows nine hits in nine innings, walks one, and allows only one earned run. So, that... Let's see what the standings look like now. Of course, I don't think they're going to be much different. But now we are four games off the pace. I think we were five coming into this, so we're now just four games off the pace. So we did cut that back to four. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.